Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. This is my good friend, Connor. Connor, I have an, a question for you. Do you like sci-fi movies? I love sci-fi movies. So there's this great movie series out there where it's good versus evil, and they have this amazing weapon that they use. It's like this sword that lights up. And it goes, you know, and kids love those, right? Who doesn't? Right. Exactly. Who doesn't? And, and a lot of times, kids want to play with that kind of stuff, but, you know, we don't want them to get hurt, right? Yeah. Nobody so, likes getting hurt. No. So we've come up with a, a new fun idea that is a light sword that is safe. Oh, I would call it more of a, more of a plasma stick. Plasma stick it is. <laughs> Nicely done. So we're going to make our own safe plasma stick. Now, what we're going to be using for our plasma stick is something that will not hurt anyone. It's a piece of insulation foam. Does that hurt? Uh, not at all. Here, try me. Bop, 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 oh, bop, you can bop, give it a little bop, bit more bop, than that. Bop, bop, See that? I feel like Morse code. <laughs> 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 I'll end up with little teeny bumps on my head. So we're just going to take this piece of insulation foam. Mm -hmm. Comes in four foot pieces. We've cut this one down to, oh, what would you say that is? About three feet, right? Yeah, about three feet. Right. So we're going to take this piece and we are going to give it a handle. Now to use our handle, we're just going to use some duct tape. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple strips of this. And what I'd like you to do is just wrap it around the bottom. Okay, you want to go ahead and do that? Sure. Now, I'm going to take another piece. Oh, did that end up on top of itself? Uh, that's okay. Here, I'll trade you. All right, thanks. Oh, very good. I can undo that little piece. Now, one of the things you want to make sure about when you're working on your light sword is not to cover the entire piece of foam with duct tape. Because when you do do that, that takes on a rigidity and a, and a hardness, and then it's no longer a nice, safe sword. Very good. Okay, let's add one more piece on top of that. What do you think? I like that idea. Maybe even three if we wanted to. Depends how big your hands That's are. That's true. It does depend on how big your hands are. I think we should do one more. What do you think? Because yeah. you always want to hold it with two hands. So let's do, let's do one more. There you go. And then to top it off, we're going to add some silver duct tape. And this is going to be great because it's going to give it that uh, real movie quality. Everybody likes that Everybody special likes effects. Exactly. All right, there you go. Perfect. And uh, now to take it over the top, you know what we need? Um, an on and off switch? Hey, there you go, an on and off switch. So we're going to use a couple of these really pretty jewels. Now for this I'm going to use a, a glue gun, but you know the deal with glue guns, right? Actually, I think we need the light too. The light? You know, that keeps out from the sword, the plasma. Ah, oh, the plasma. I'm going to use a little jewel, and I'm going to glue this right here. What I was going to say is that you should only ever have an adult use a glue gun, just because you want to be careful not to uh, burn any fingers, right? Uh, one time that hit me. Although, yeah, no, it's not good. Uh, although you're getting to an age where you could definitely use a uh, low-temp glue gun. These are really, really hot, and I just get nervous about any kids using glue guns. Ten and under, kids. <laughs> exactly, ten and under. All right, so there we go. Now we've got our beautiful handle. We're going to let that dry really good. And now you and I can do some battle. Now, you are correct. This doesn't light up. However, if we use our imaginations, anything lights up. Exactly. So you ready? <laughs> For more fabulous, wonderful, scary ideas for weaponry, go to sophie-world.com.